Most of us cannot stand the smell or mere sight of cow dung. Now to imagine that someone has had to use it as sanitary way is cringeworthy. This has been the story of girls and women from poor communities who cannot afford proper sanitary way like pads, cotton wool and tampons. Some are reported to have been using newspapers, sack or cloth pieces. To curb this problem, innovative thinkers like Jenny Wu, director of MyPads, have introduced reusable or washable pads which have, however, been received with skepticism. Here we have the organization's representatives demonstrating how to use the pads. under my pads, representative my pads, she got reusable sanitary pads. I have fleece material, yes, no thing from Zimbabwe, and then waterproof layer in Europe. Can I check a pad? Oh, kune fleece, no kuno inda bam soro, kagadai. It will come as great relief to girls who have had to miss school during their monthly menstrual cycle that just like disposable pads, reusable pads are made of different layers and are of different sizes to cater for both light and heavy foods. <laughs> For about uh, five minutes or so, don't vanda chora sipo yangu. Don't vanda ngo chaka kupukutira mbija na. Don't vanda wacha. Dika peza kuwacha. Don't vanda ri zumburu zani mwe mfura. Inotono rafut. Kechi tu. Karani mwota. In her demonstration, Bigu emphasizes the need to use running water for the final rinse to ensure the pads are clean. When putting the pads out to dry, it is advisable for one to ensure that they are directly facing the sun. The use of disinfectants, perfumed soap, fabric softener when washing them is not recommended. Muri kumbwa muri waska na waka wana lete muri tu nogo na trauma pesa imu mama kama zita guma shuru ngo zampa nugu ma sanga nza nyuto na sha ano shanti sa ake ake trake ega ndeni mungu chanza rake ega. These pairs have proven to be a clean solution to girls in areas like Gokwe and Jishavani where they have been distributed.